All right, boys and girls, this is part seven where the engine meets the frame, okay? Yeah, get rid of the white wire. We don't need it. That wire will give you a, a couple of volts where you may be able to power an LED, but what you'll be doing is robbing power from the spark. So you want a weaker spark? Hook up a light to that white wire. You want a stronger spark? Throw that white wire in the trash, okay? So I've already done a little bit of test fitting on this here, but uh, what we're going to do with this engine here to mount it is we're going to remove the threaded studs that go into the front mount. Just go ahead and take it off. What we're going to do, we're going to use some 8 millimeter bolts that go in there. So, uh, but I'll show you all about it here, okay? Because there's a lot of different ways to mount these things. All right, most important when you mount an engine is you want to take a look at the rear mount first. We need to get a secure stable mount on the seat tube that's critical that's where we start okay now see how i've got this here okay you want it firmly against the seat post you don't want any gaps at the top you don't want a gap at the top there like that i'm exaggerating what we got here and then look at it underneath okay you don't want any at the bottom this is where so many people mess up and they've got broken mounting studs that's why they break the reason they break is you've got flex in that joint there and what they'll then do is tighten up the bolts to try to make everything line up so let's take a look at the front of the engine here and see how that mounts up now right there that's not a good fit okay i could kind of bolt that up and just call it a day but we've got the sharp edges of the inside of the mount that will go against the frame okay so but let's take a look at this mounting plate that we've got here and put that in there. That's what we're going to use in this application. Okay, so now if you're having issues figuring out what mount you want to use on your bike, Google is your friend. First thing you want to do is put in the brand name of your bike, the model of the bike, and motorized into a search engine. Look at the images. You may see that someone has already done this. You're not the first person to want to put a motor on a bicycle. Neither was I. That helped me out. So Check that out first, and if you aren't sure of what to do, check out my Facebook group, Hughes Motorized. Post some pictures of what you got, but follow along. Get your rear mount taken care of first, and then maybe we can help you. You might need one of those fancy CNC mounts. Those are good. That way you can take up the slack between the angle of the front of the mount and where it differs between the angle of the down tube. Okay, so let's take a look at this mounting plate here. See that gap there? What I want to do is I want all of that area to, to be mated together. I want to evenly distribute the load and the stress from the mount against the down tube there. That way I'm not going to be uh, looking at possibly cracking the frame in the future. So come on, let's take a look at this. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a little bit of a curve into this uh, mounting plate here. You can see it's got a little bit of a curve here, a little bit of a defect. So let's get that little bit of a lip straightened out. And I'm just using a hammer here to bend it. Now let's look at steel as a piece of moldable dough, just like Play-Doh, all right? It's a little bit tougher, but we can manipulate it pretty much the same way. And what I'm doing is I want to put a nice, slow, just a little bit of a curve in it. And you can see when I hold it up to a straight edge here that I've got a nice little bit of a curve here. Actually, after I mounted it, I figured out I got a little bit too much of a curve and I had to go back and flatten it down just a scooch to get it to fit better. But hey, that's part of the process. So I mounted the mounting plate onto the front mount and did a test fit. And the first thing, and you want to make sure that you've got your rear mount squared away. And then, yep, I had a little bit of a gap. So I went back, took care of the difference, put it back on and did another test fit. Don't you dare think that we could put a piece of rubber in there. Rubber does not go between the engine mounts and the frame at all. Don't. The only rubber you need is on your tire and uh, in your wallet, so to speak, okay? So when you tighten these things up here, you want to make sure that you've got an even distance between the little bracket plate and the mount. And then when we've got everything on there, everything snugged up evenly, 
you want to grab the frame, get a good secure hold of the frame and move, try to move that motor. If it feels like the motor is part of the frame, you've got it. You've got your engine mounted. I hope this helped you out. There's more to come on this series. If you think the video is helpful, give me a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. I want to thank you for watching. <laughs>